Hey, what's going on Amazon sellers? Today we're going to be breaking down Amazon Accelerate. It's this brand new conference. Amazon just pushed this out today. Um, they are launching it here at the beginning of September. You should all go and sign up. Now I wanted to break down the specifics about what all is actually going to be in this. What stuff is like a must watch? What stuff is like a, well, this is probably I can pass. Um, and sort of everything in between, okay? So follow me along. I'm gonna be breaking down every single session. This is gonna be a little bit longer of a video, but I wanna sort of explain my take on what I would recommend you to check out, okay? So stay tuned. All right, so as we said, we're going to dive in here to all of the different sessions. Again, my name is Nate here with Hustle Buddies. We always share tools, tips, and advice for Amazon sellers. And because this came out this morning, I pushed all my other content to the side. We want to push out timely stuff for our audience. And I think that this is really important to everyone. All right. So let's dive into this and see all the stuff that they're offering. Now, if you go to register.amazonaccelerate.com, you can sign up. We'll put links down in the comment section or in the uh, description below. Um, while we're at that, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you want to get updated on Amazon content like this. All right. So once you are registered, you can go to this agenda screen. This is a really cool way that they've set this up um, because you can sort of star things that you're interested in and then it will put everything that you're interested in into like a my agenda type of thing. Now, if you can go to all of this stuff live, that would be awesome. If you can't, which I know a lot of you guys can't because we've got jobs, we've got kids, we've got life that's going on. Uh, most of these things you will be able to watch. Um, I believe they said it's going to be stored for 30 days. I'm going to have to look that up and double check. Um, but it should be stored for a while and you can then watch it later. There's also quite a bit of it that you can actually watch right now. They have quite a few things that are on demand that you can watch and they actually encourage you to watch that before the live event. I think um, some of those things are like third parties that have some sort of offering and they may be doing some sort of like Q&A type session. So there is definitely a benefit to going to these things live. Um, but you can, of course, get access to all of the recordings to stuff, okay? So let's dive into which things I think are important for you to watch and which ones you can probably skip, okay? So first and foremost, the first event, so this starts again Tuesday, September 1st. The very first event I would recommend everyone go to. It's the big kickoff show. Um, it should be good. Now, to be honest, is there going to be like big like meat and potatoes kind of information that you should learn in this? No, probably not. This is going to be where they just sort of, you know, <laughs> like suck up to you and tell you how great third-party sellers are and how they're the backbone of Amazon, blah, 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 blah. That's most likely what this is going to be. It's just going to be sort of like a PR event, um, but it is the opening event, so you should all check that out, all right? Um, next, and you can see here on the sidebar, they're broken down by times. So each event is roughly like 30 to 40 minutes long. All right, so after the opening event, um, you can choose two different breakout sessions if you're watching this live. Um, for the most part, one breakout session is going to be sort of for established businesses, and one is going to be more for newer sellers. Now, unfortunately, during this conference, Amazon's put out a couple conferences over the years. During this one, I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff that is super applicable to arbitrage or wholesale sellers. I would say 70% of this is geared towards private label brands where someone is creating their own brand, they're creating their own product, and they're doing all of that stuff. Um, so I think that's why it's, it's even more important to sort of know up front which of these things you actually need to pay attention to and which you can probably ignore because they won't make any sense to you. So this first one is an example of that. This like discovery and conversion and all of that stuff, this doesn't really have any anything to do with you if you're doing arbitrage. This is... Um, they're showing you, it's a cool feature where you can like live stream on your product page. It seems like a cool feature. I don't know realistically how well that's going to do as a customer. I don't really care. Like if a brand I'm buying is live streaming something uh, that seems sort of like a glorified ad or a sales pitch, but regardless, this really has nothing to do with me as an arbitrage seller because it's not my brand. I'm not going to be doing Amazon lives to showcase the toothpicks that I'm selling from Walmart. Okay. So, um, this doesn't really apply to you. This one is going to be interesting. If you are a brand new seller, I'm going to it because I mean, again, 
We make content for Amazon sellers. We have a huge group. We, we coach a lot of beginners. We have classes for beginners. So I want to make sure that my information is up to date, make sure that um, I'm constantly learning, just like you guys are constantly learning. I need to be reteaching myself these older concepts. So I will be attending this. If you're a brand new seller, I would also recommend that. If you've been selling for a while and you're an arbitrage seller, you can skip both of those. Um, okay, 1030 slot. Making your first sale. Again, if you're a brand new seller, definitely check that out. If you've been selling for a while, meh, you can probably skip that. Okay? Uh, this showcase your brand with A-plus content. Again, that is for private label sellers, not applicable to most of you guys. And again, our channel is mostly for like retail, online, and wholesale sellers, people doing arbitrage and selling other people's brands. That's why I'm skipping over this. If you want private label content, awesome. You're not going to find that on our channel. Go somewhere else for that. Um, all right, so deals, coupons, subscriptions, again, mostly for your own brand. Um, how to advertise. I will be going to this because we do a little bit of advertising. I would say there's a 95% chance that nothing in this applies to what we do and how we advertise. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to it just in case, and maybe I'll pick up a few tricks that I can take over um, into how I do advertising. Um, best practice for sponsored display ads. Yeah, you can go to that. I, personally, I'm not going to find that all that useful. Um, getting started with FBA. This is going to be big, again, if you are a beginner. So, again, I'll be watching that because I want to make sure my beginner content is nice and fresh and up to date. Um, help accelerating sales with advertising. Again, arbitrage sellers don't do a whole lot of advertising. There, there are some ways to do advertising, but it's a very non-conventional way. And most likely, this isn't going to have anything to do with that. Like when I'm advertising things, I'm paying like three cents to advertise something. These types of things, this is like, this is a little bit different. Okay. Um, virtual bundles for brands. This one actually really intrigued me. This is one of the few things where I'm like, whoa, that sounds like something. If I can do this without being a brand owner, this could be huge. If I could virtually bundle um, products, because what it sounds like is you'll be able to package complementary things without physically putting them together. So if you have like hot sauce and toothpicks, I don't have to put those together in a bundle. I could sell hot sauce and I could sell toothpicks and then I could virtually bundle them together on Amazon. That's what it sounded like to me, but I mean, I have no idea. I'm going to be going to that one. Um, maybe it'll be really cool. Maybe it's going to be completely useless, but we'll find out. All right, this next slot, this is sort of like their um, <laughs> affiliate hour. <laughs> it's a bunch of companies that paid a bunch of money to get their little limelight. Um, all of these you can actually pre-watch, so you can check these out now. There's a few of them that I'll be checking out. Um, so like this first one, A2X, I haven't heard of the company, but their, um, their agenda, know your margin, know your profit. I think that that's going to be good content that most of you guys should definitely check out, regardless of if you're using the service. Um, there's only actually one of the service, uh, like one of these third party services that it is attending this, only one of them I have used. Um, and I've only heard of about half of them, so I'm not sure about how good these are gonna be, um, but we'll see. Um, this next one, Seller Labs, this is actually one that we've used. Um, this is talking about communicating with your customers and how to comply with the Amazon policies while you do that. So um, we've used Seller Labs. I'll put a link down below. Um, they have something, oh shoot, what's the name of it? Uh, you can contact customers and try to get more uh, reviews within the TOS. Now there's a certain, there's certain verbiage that you have to use in order to do that. So I'll be going to that. Um, that's cool. And I'll put a link to their stuff down below as well. Um, Celix, this doesn't really apply to you guys. That's more, again, for like advertising private label stuff. Um, and then this one, this was a complete trade and compliance for global markets. So this is something I may go to. For the most part, arbitrage sellers are not selling globally. I know putting out this video, I'm going to get so many questions. Hey, I want to sell in the UK or, hey, I want to sell in Australia and they're American sellers or you're a, a UK seller. Hey, I want to sell in America. Hey, I want to sell in Mexico. Hey, I want to sell wherever else. I know I'm going to get a ton of these questions. For the vast, vast, vast majority of arbitrage sellers, you are never once going to list something on a different country's platform. It's just not worth your time if you're just selling onesies and twosies of clearance things that you find. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'll be going to that. 
personally to see if there's anything I can pick up, but most likely that's another skippable one for you guys. Um, this next one, <laughs> unfortunately, the, the keynote event is pretty worthless. Building a brand, no one here is building a brand. If you are a retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, or wholesale seller, you are not building a brand. You are reselling other people's brands. Um, so that doesn't really apply to you. I'm going to be skipping that one. Brand registry, don't have to worry about that. Um, pricing competitively. This is one that's going to interest me <laughs> because of how many fair pricing alerts and errors and problems exist on this platform right now. I want to go and see what they say about it. Maybe they'll have some secret insider tip that I don't know about. Um, maybe they'll be telling us why they do such a terrible job of deactivating high price in their eyes listings um, and all that. But I'll be going to this just because I'm interested in that topic and really interested to see what they have to say because I feel like they do a horrible job of uh, pricing competitively. <laughs> um, all right, Amazon brand analytics. Again, if it says brand, you can basically skip that if you're a arbitrage or wholesale seller. Prime day strategies. Um, this is gonna be a little bit interesting. Now it's probably gonna, going to be a lot about advertising, but prime day is coming up. As far as I know, they have not released a date for it yet, but I'll be going to that because it has to do with prime day um, and we'll, we'll put out some content for prime day. Um, maintaining great account health. This is 100% everyone should go to this event. It doesn't matter what kind of seller you are. This is huge. Uh, maintaining your account health. Okay. So definitely head to that one. Promoting products. Eh, you can skip that if you want. Some people I know do coupons and deals for their arbitrage products. I don't do that a whole lot, but you can if you want to. Um, grow your business with expert help. Again, uh, this is just kind of like, oh, here's all of these third-party sellers that you can pay to do different tasks that, for the most part, have nothing to do with reselling a product and everything to do with building a brand. Um, there might be a couple in here, but for the most part, it's not great. And there's companies in here. So, for example, Payability is a company that comes to mind. Payability is in their, like, third-party service provider things, but Payability is like a complete ripoff, borderline scam. I can't believe Amazon associates themselves with them because Amazon, basically what payability does is, is they give you your payout early, but you can already do that for free within Amazon. You just request your payment. Payability charges you like 114% APR to do that. So are you gonna do it the free way from Amazon or are you gonna use Amazon's partnered third party and do it for 114% APR per year? Well, that's a no-brainer. Like, why is this? So I'm going to be skipping that because I don't really respect um, who Amazon chooses to partner up with all the time. Um, yeah, skipping that one again. It's about brands. Building your brand, skip it. Um, seller panel. This one will be interesting because this is basically going to have a bunch of third-party sellers that have made it, a bunch of seven-figure sellers, all talking about their experiences, tips and tricks, things like that. So this will be interesting. Yes, it's probably going to be, for the majority, um, it'll be like private label sellers who built a brand, but maybe they're, they'll throw in a couple resellers in there as well. Um, so I'll be going to that one. Um, and then again, so these are like third-party office hours. All of this stuff can be pre-watched. So we've got a couple different things here. Um, let's see, nationwide network of small business support. That sounded interesting, sort of, it almost sounded like a union, um, which could be interesting. Ecom engine, uh, automation software. So, okay, I'll, I'll hear what they've got to say. Um, open box returns, do you have returns? Yes, I do have returns. So I'll listen to what they've got to say. And then this, um, these last couple, most of these don't really matter. These were all for like private label sellers. Um, yeah, there's a ton of them. If you want to watch these, all of these are on demand and you can watch them. But for the most part, I'll just be watching those first three. Um, all right, then we're on to Thursday, the, the final day. Keynote speaker, FBA looking to the future. This is a good one to attend. This this is for everyone. Everyone should definitely um, watch this one, hear what they have to say. And I, I think it's important to get a lot of this information straight from Amazon. You can listen to information that is filtered through me, and I will try my best to give you, like, unbiased and, and truthful information as well as I possibly can. But in the end, you're still getting the information from Nate instead of from Amazon. So um, I think everyone should go to this and listen to what Amazon thinks about their own future. Um, inventory replenishment. I think this is good for people, especially if you have, again, replens. Um, 
talking about how to establish that. This is another thing that, that I'll be interested to hear what they have to say because their system is so ridiculously bad for this. Like if they're like, oh, you sold 10 of these, you should get 100 more. But like I've had 10 for like a year. No, I should not get 100 more of them. I should not ever buy that again because it's such a slow seller. So I'll be interested to, to hear what they have to say about that because I don't like their current system, but maybe it's changing. Um, using Marketplace App Store to amplify your business. Um, this is just, I mean, I'll be going to it to hear the different third parties, but this is probably just going to be upsells on, on different services. Um, expanding to Europe and Japan, again, something that I'll be looking into, um, but for the most part isn't going to pertain to the majority of you guys watching this. Um, improving your FBA inventory performance, your IPI. This one, huge, okay? Definitely, definitely, definitely go to this one, okay? This is Thursday, 10.30 a.m. Improving your IPI score, that's going to be a big one to attend. Expanding to emerging markets, this is, I mean, similar to like Europe and Japan. This is like selling in Australia and the Middle East and Singapore. All these places where Amazon is like brand new, um, they want you to send more products over there. Now, if you're a brand new seller, do not go down this avenue. Like if you're trying to figure out Amazon.com still, don't try to figure out Amazon.au, okay? That's a ridiculous jump to try to make. If you've been selling on Amazon for a year or two years, awesome. Absolutely check this out. Um, see if there's something that your business could do. Uh, reduce stranded inventory. This is a problem that everybody has, so everyone should go to that one. Optimize FBA inbound. So this, uh, it could go one of two ways. It could be like mostly for like LTL, like shipping companies and truckloads and sending in pallets. But if this is applicable for sellers, like arbitrage sellers and things like that, this could be really good for um, like improving your workflow, improving the time that it takes you to get something checked in. Maybe they'll share some tricks as far as like, oh yeah, if you just leave 20 bucks on the top of your box, we'll check it in faster. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but maybe there's some trick that I don't know about. Um, seller panel. I'll be going to all these seller panels because these things are just, they're just interviewing other real life sellers. And I think that those are going to be some of the, um, the most beneficial things to listen to. All right, then you've got another provider office hour section. Um, we've got this one. I think this is going to be useful for a lot of people in our group, especially for hustle buddies. Um, because we've had a lot of people talk about how they feel like as their business grows, they're like ruining the environment, like how many boxes they have and how much dunnage that they waste and this, that, and the other. Um, or like, is it, do we feel ethical, like buying stuff or do we feel ethical doing this? So I'll be interested in hearing what they have to say about like a holistic approach to growth on Amazon. Um, and I think that'll be cool for a lot of you guys as well. Um, let's see, first shipping choice. Again, this is something I will be going to because I'm going to be looking into sending stuff overseas. Uh, if you're not at all interested in that, if you're a brand new seller, skip that one. Um, the rest of these, that was for private label sellers. This is for um, growth. I'll go to that. You probably shouldn't as a newer seller. All of these you can go to. I'm just trying to give you my recommendations on what you can skip. Um, uh, again, probably skip that one. Um, it's sort of a Q and a with them, but it's mostly going to be an upsell. They're just trying to sell you their service. Um, all right. And then that, that's really the last thing. Everything else is on demand stuff. So I've put together my agenda here. If I can figure out a way how to share this, I will. Um, but basically that was my agenda. You could see all of the things that I had starred. Um, I'll sort of scroll through this slowly, so if you're curious, you can sort of rewind um, and star the same things that I starred, or at least this will help you narrow it down a little bit. But you can see, even like I'm trying to get anything that could possibly relate to anyone in our group or anything in our business, and I narrowed it down to 45 of the almost 80 sessions. So almost half of this stuff is 100% irrelevant to all of our businesses. Um, I, unfortunately, I think a lot of this is going to be fluff. I think a lot of it is going to be, uh, a PR stunt, um, for Amazon trying to sort of show the world that they support third party sellers because they were just in the news about kind of screwing over third party sellers, which definitely does happen. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in here that is missing, that is desperately, desperately needed, like transparency. If you get kicked off of Amazon, they don't tell you why. That is a desperately needed topic that they need to address and they need to be clear with sellers on. 
Um, there's a lot of things missing in this. We're a little bit disappointed that um, those topics aren't in here, but this is free. We'll take what we can get. We'll learn what we can from this, and you guys should do the same. All right, so that covers Amazon Accelerate. If you have any other questions about this, you can drop them down in the comments section below or head over to our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash hustle buddies. There'll be a much larger conversation going on about this over there. You can sort of brainstorm. We might try to do like a live stream or like some sort of live chat during these things to, you know, it's sort of like we're sitting together at this live event. I think that'd be pretty cool. If I can figure out a way how to set that up, um, I will. Um, but yeah, as always, we will see you guys out there and hustle on.